Vlog 3, return of the vlog, maybe he forgot his wallet. This is it, vlog 3, the third vlog, the one immediately after vlog 2 and just before vlog 4. It's bigger, it's longer, it's high def and 3D, black and white and in colour. Yeah, okay. Now with even more jump cuts. More jump cuts? Yes, more jump cuts. So it turns out John did have a human arm in his back garden. Unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it before. I've seen a human arm before. I've got two myself. One on either side, which is useful. If you don't have any, I'd say, oh, I was going to say pick one up. <laughs> right, anyway, so... Uh, the police have it now. Uh, John asked they return it whenever they've done with it, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. They're not really into giving members of the public human arms to play with. Speaking of members of the public, I have to deal with those quite a lot at work. See how seamless that was, eh? I'd like to talk about customers today. I'm not trying to generalise here, obviously, but all customers are the stupidest people on the planet. I had a customer today hand me a white shoe and he asked me if I had any others that were exactly the same colour, only red. I also had a customer hand me a pair of trousers and he asked me would these trousers fit my son. He was on his own. His son was nowhere to be seen. How was I supposed to know if they would fit his son? I wanted to ask him, you know, how long are your son's legs? How big is his gut? Maybe then I'll be able to tell you. Speaking of guts, a lady returned a shirt today. It was XXXXXL. She returned it because it was too small. Yeah. She then asked, do we have any bigger ones? Do we have any bigger ones? I don't even know if Giacomo have any bigger ones. I'll look into that. One time this customer was buying a Liverpool shirt for her son. She told me that he had asked for a Manchester United one, but he already has one of those, so she's going to get him a Liverpool shirt this time. Apparently, they're both red shirts, so he should like the Liverpool shirt. Nice one, Mum. Yeah, another jump cut. I've got to learn how to talk uninterrupted without mumbling my words. Anyway, Customers think that they are the most originally hilarious people in the world. I mean, if you're scanning something, then it won't scan for some reason. Well, you won't be scanning it if it's not scanning. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you're doing that, that activity, and it won't scan for you, then you can bet your life that they're going to say, Oh, must be free. And <laughs> every customer in that situation, they always, always say it. You want to, well basically you want to slap them, but you can. At least I don't think you can. I'll check the rule book, but I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to slap them. If, you, if I find out that I've been allowed to slap customers all this time... Yeah, uh, anyway, moving on. So I'm just thinking about slapping customers now. You get these customers who place their basket one till to the side of you. You'd be standing here, say at till one. They'll put their baskets here at till two. And then they look at you funny when you grab their stuff and move it over. It's like it blows their mind. They don't understand why you what difference does it make? You know, it's well this is my till here, that's that's why I'm logged on to this till, not that one, no. You know, I don't understand why you don't understand. It's obvious, isn't it? If someone's standing here ready to serve you, you... Anyway. One time, well actually one time, multiple times actually, you get customers who go even further than that. They'll put their clothes even further away. Two tills. Like in my shop there's four tills. And usually I'll be on till one and they'll go to till three. There's nobody over there. Why are they bringing their stuff over here? And sometimes you get customers 
who if you grab their stuff and move it to till one and you start scanning away they'll stay over there, they won't move with you, they'll stay over there and you say well that'd be £23.50 hello over there, £23.50 they'll take their money out you have to go to them, take their money, go back to the till put the money in, get the receipt, put back their stuff and bring it over to till three Why am I complaining about this? He says sarcastically. I don't understand why some customers hand me things one item at a time to scan. It's like they have to be scanned in a specific order or the whole universe will implode. Like they'll usually they'll be you know, hand handed on the one item that you you can tell that's the item that they're gonna hand you last as if it's a special item that like just you can't scan it too early. It gets you excited, you know, the, why haven't they given me these golf balls yet? There must be a reason why he hasn't given me those golf balls. I'm getting excited here. He's about to hand me the, the golf balls. Oh, the anticipation. And then finally, after I scanned every other item, he'll hand me the golf balls. And it'll be just like any other time I've scanned golf balls. Very disappointing. Customers can be useful, though, sometimes. Like, if there's no barcode on an item, for instance. Chances are they'll tell you the price. Very useful. Thanks for telling me the price. Now my need for the barcode has gone completely. Yeah, I'll just type the price in. So I don't know what they want me to do with that information. I do like it though when a customer hands me something and asks for the price and then they say, oh, I've got it on, off the sale rail, as if that automatically makes it cheaper. Huh. It's eleven pounds. Well I got it off the sale rail. Oh, well thanks. Now I know that information. It's actually three ninety nine. It can be quite easy for a shoe to be put back in the wrong place. It happens quite a lot, it's pretty common. And it often leads to a customer taking a shoe up to the till, I'll oh, scan it, say so that's twenty seven ninety nine. And they'll say I thought it was twenty three pounds. And you'll say, oh, it's come up here 27.99, and they'll say, oh, but it says over there, you know, on the on the wall, it's 23 pounds. So I'll say, all right, show me where you, you got the shoe, and they'll take you down and say, I got the shoe here, you know, it'll sit on the wall here. And usually, it'll go something like, ah, well, that is not the price of this shoe, as you can see, you see this little tick, that's the Nike logo, you see, this shoe that you're buying is clearly an Adidas shoe and you probably should have noticed that this shoe was sitting in the wrong place and sometimes they say, ah oh, fair enough, my mistake, I've got the shoe from the shoe was sitting in the wrong place. Sometimes though, that's not the case, sometimes they'll scream bloody murder, they'll say, that's false advertising, it says on the wall that the Shoe is twenty three pounds, and it's like, no, it doesn't. It says that Nike shoe, which is probably over there somewhere now, is that shoe's twenty three pounds. This shoe is twenty seven pounds. Look over here. Look, see the Adidas section, the gap in the wall. Here, this is where this shoe should be, and it says on the wall twenty seven ninety nine. See, and sometimes customers do. They just don't accept that they're wrong and that the shoe was pl probably placed there by a different customer. You know, nine times out of ten, if a, cost if a shoe's in the wrong place, it will be a customer has tried it on and then just put it back wherever they feel like it. And they just won't accept that. They'll complain and complain, and worst case scenarios, you know, the manager has to come down and try and talk them you know, calm them down, and if not, then, you know, the police or the SWAT team will come down, you know, from the helicopter on the, the rope, and they'll have the guns, and they'll be... Ch -ch -ch. And, okay, all right, I mean, maybe that doesn't happen, but sometimes it, it does get a bit out of hand. Thinking about wrapping this vlog up now, I've only got so many jump cuts left got them in a small bag, I'm about to run out, I'm going to have to go down the shops and buy some more. Also I can see my 
PlayStation in the corner of my eye, and I'm, I'm currently replaying the Resident Evil games before the new one comes out, and I'm thinking that I'd quite like to carry on with that. It's a good sign of how interesting this vlog is that the guy making it is thinking, God, I wish I was doing something else. So, yeah, I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to do that, move on and allow you to move on as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully you enjoyed it more than, than the last two. If you didn't enjoy this one more than the last two, then I think I've lost you forever. But if you did, you know, don't be afraid to like this video, share it on Facebook and any other social networking site that you may use. Subscribe to the videos if you, if you have no life. And I'll see you again next time. Possibly. There's no one on the other side to hit the stop button, so I kinda I don't know how I'm gonna Ah. <laughs>